I'm the one who was actually brave on this. Uh, it's oh, e it's pat e yourself on the back. It's easy to say I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I comes don't down to real hard-nosed decisions. And yes, some Germans will die, and yes, it will ruin the evening, and yes, Goebbels will be very, very, very mad at you for what you've done to his big night. The only country in the world that uh, they get attacked, and then as soon as they counterattack, it's like, well, we got to stop this now. But you won't get Hitler, you won't get Goebbels, you won't get Goering, and you won't get Bormann. And you need all four to end the war. Don't attack them is a very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. But if I don't pick up this phone right here, you may very well get all four. And if you get all four, you end the war tonight. Hey, you Stop just attacking it. Israel. You just I did. solved it. I actually there did. There you go. That's fantastic. Anyway, all right. We let's, don't need let's, to get let's onto go to, that. Let, let's go to Russia and uh, the Ukraine. How do you solve that one, Bill? <laughs> Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the recording. So much to talk about. Uh, Bill Burr stuffing uh, 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 Bill Maher in a locker live on his podcast. Basically, uh, we've got hilarious Lord of the Rings stuff coming up, as well as a new YouTube policy specifically set to make your experience worse because money. But I want to start with this story on Bill Burr, where he talks about uh, cancel culture and other things with Bill Maher. But in particular, two parts of the exchange I thought were the most interesting. The first is, of course, the cancel culture thing, which I disagree with um, because it's insane of him to say uh, but also uh, him absolutely dunking on Bill Maher was also pretty based. So first and foremost, Bill Maher, Bill Burr tells Bill Maher that, quote, cancel culture is over and no one cares anymore, Maher said. Uh, he also says Louis C.K. should be welcome back. Well, I mean, he basically already is welcome back. This is the thing with Bill Burr. Um, you know, I think people on like the anti woke side and like the norm normie side were so like excited to see somebody you know come through on our side that is not a like a lunatic in general. But Bill Burr is just kind of like a normal dude. He's not really plugged in to uh, everyday news, and uh, he probably gets most of his marching orders from his wife. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, the the fact that Bill Maher. I'm sorry, Bill Burr, the guy that literally worked on The Mandalorian with Gina Carano, would go on a podcast and say that cancel culture is over and nobody cares anymore is so shockingly out of touch that it boggles the mind. Again, I think that this is a bad take from Bill Maher, but there's some truth to it, and I do want to give him some benefit of the doubt, as I even tweeted. He often has out-of-touch takes. In, in good faith, it's usually because he's not terminally online, which is basically true. Bill Bill Burr probably doesn't, it doesn't really strike me as a guy who sits on Twitter all day and really knows anything about uh, cancel culture or any of that stuff. But uh, cancel culture absolutely still exists. The fact that he can't even remember Gina Carano and the fact that he's spoken out about Gina Carano getting canceled and acting like that isn't the case you know, I invite Bill Burr to host Kanye West on his podcast or a whole slew of other people and see how it works out for him. Um, again, I agree that in some aspects, cancel culture is muted right now simply because there are many more uh, platforms for people to exist on that are freer speech. There really isn't a quote unquote free speech platform. But there is uh, the big mean green uh, platform where you can follow me, and I hope that you do, and I hope that you tune into my live stream there every day at 5.30 Eastern. I'm going to have Melanie Mack tonight. It's Mac and Cheese Day on Tuesdays and Thursdays and 6 X and Hammer on Monday and Wednesdays and Fridays. I bring in guests. I think this Friday I'm going to actually have home math, I think. But, um, you know, uh, there are more, like X is a little bit better, although it still bans people. There's new tech popping up all the time that does provide platforms for people, but it's still, you know, 10 to 15% of the overall market. I mean, Gina Carano, Roseanne Barr, uh, you know, and, and, and many, many, Anthony, Anthony Cumia, this, the comedian, um, have you seen Aziz Ansari in a while? I mean, 
I could still go on and on and on and on and on and on and name people that were canceled during the various movements and haven't had their careers restored and haven't been welcomed back. And, you know, most effectively, I would say, yes, it's a little less bad with more options, but it absolutely isn't gone. Um, you know, they took $50 million from Louis C.K. for, uh, you know, beating his meat uh, in a room with two chicks who I guess agreed to it. I don't know, but then they, there was some weirdness there. But I mean, he wasn't charged with a crime. He wasn't, you know, none of this stuff happened uh, to hit the courts. So yeah, uh, I don't think so. How about uh, you know many? There are many such cases of cancel culture. Is it as is it as prevalent as it was um, five years ago? I don't think so because, in particular, you know, Twitter was a very powerful source for rallying people to ruin their lives. And now that community notes exist, which is extremely helpful, uh, people don't give community notes enough credit. Um, and then obviously Elon buying that. As well as you know, uh, the Mean Green website, which is an alternative to YouTube that uh, is growing every single day, uh, every single month. You know, my numbers go up there. Millions and millions of views I get on that platform. Um, haters like to pretend like nobody's over there, but it's growing. And just wait till this you know election season; it's going to get even bigger. Wait till we see more big tech censorship; it's going to get even bigger. But then there was uh, you know, as I cr as a critical of Bill Burr, there I'm gonna then give him some credit here, which is interesting. Again, he says, uh, start the day with Bill Burr stuffing Bill Maher into a locker. You're like the guy who has a fantasy football team and thinks he's an effing GM. Um, well, I, you know, I would say, yeah. I mean, <laughs> his, his the idea that you know, I'm on the side of the kids isn't exactly a bold position to take, but we'll we'll break down this this uh, exchange. Hopefully, Bill Maher isn't uh, isn't a a copyright dork. That's where Harvard is. For a guy like I, you, I know that that's got to be the Taj Mahal. I love that that I bugs hate you. Harvard. Are you kidding? Have you heard what's going on on college campuses these days? I don't watch the news. So again, we're gonna give. When it when it works in Bill Bill Burr's favor, like having an out of touch take, like cancel culture doesn't exist, it will work against him in this case. You don't realize that college campuses erupted with the kids demonstrating for Hamas. They are in with the terrorists. No, they, were, they were for the Palestinians. Okay, so Bill Burr lied. Okay, I thought he didn't watch the news. Well, he clearly does, um, and. Uh, you know, he clearly does watch the news because I, th I thought he didn't know what he was talking about. Bill Burr literally said, hey, you didn't you don't know what's going on in college campuses. And he says, I don't watch the news. And then he immediately says, oh, well, they were for the Palestinians, which I bet you that there was a portion of the people on campus that were, in fact, simply for the Palestinians. I, I do believe that the most extreme are the ones that get the headlines uh, the ones chanting Intifada and, and and wearing their I mean there that those did exist, um, the, you know and they they were there among them, um, but I'm sure there were some decent normal people. Well, it's sort of the same cause. Why are you? Um, I'm on the side of the kids. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one wants to see kids dead. Uh, this is a war. That was that, very brave of you to say this. This is a this is a <laughs> war. No, I'm the one who was actually brave on this. To be fair, as of right now, Bill Mur Bill Bill Maher is correct. It's extremely easy to say I'm on the side of the kids. Uh, of course, everyone is right. Um, are you on the side of the people that are using them as human shields? Then, because what's your solution for stopping that? What's your solution for the, these people that you know hide inside of hospitals and then? Um, and then the mainstream media, you know, whines and complains when a hospital gets removed. You know, what's your solution for that? Uh, it's oh, e it's pat e yourself on the back. It's easy to say I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I comes just... down to real hard-nosed decisions. Like no, a country. Stop talking like you're a general. A country got attacked. Israel got attacked. I'm not saying that they didn't have a right to go back. I'm just sitting there going okay. like, how do I look at what? We're the only country in the world that uh, they get attacked. And then as soon as they counterattack, it's like, well, we got to stop this shit now. 
don't attack them. Is a very That's not true. The United States, is, it's like that for the United States, too, for, for many people, by the way. Very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. Hey, you Stop just solved attacking it. Israel. You just I solved did. it. I actually there did. There you go. That's fantastic. Anyway. All right. We let's, don't need to get let's onto go to, that. Let, let's go to Russia and uh, the Ukraine. How do you solve that one, Bill? <laughs> Let me hear your hard nosed decision about that. Well, you can tell Bill is like um, trying. Bill Maher realizes that they're too far apart here and that's going to probably ruin the energy of the podcast. So he's like, all right, well, let's change the subject. But Bill Burr uh, continues Let me ask on. You a question. How, a, how is war still legal? With all the shit that's been canceled. That is an absolutely stupid take. I mean, I don't really understand what you mean. War, how is war still legal? Uh, legal. Why is that still fucking legal? Would you like a real answer to that? Because to for something to be illegal. You can't stop war without war. I mean, that's ultimately, there's no trump card for it. There's no penalty for war greater than war. Legal, you have I mean, you can have, to be fair, there are economic sanctions that are things that uh, you know, th these are things that are true. Uh, the United States have done this with Russia, but it certainly didn't stop their war, did it? You have to have the capacity to enforce it. And you can't enforce against war or else you have to go to war with the country that's going to war. And we don't want to go to war with Russia over Ukraine. What would be the sense of making it illegal? Oh, that's really going to stop Putin. No. To stop people from going to war, you have to also put Just boots. Can't sit down and talk it out. Do a Why can't Putin do a podcast with the head guy? Like, you just solved the Middle East on a podcast. Why can't they solve what they're doing on a podcast? See, make this some, is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this is make my, some this hard noise. It's my not thing. your thing. It's what you... you obviously, Bill Burr is just winding him up my, here. It isn't your yeah, thing. Is He's just winding him up. I, I don't think Bill Burr actually knows anything about the ins and outs of this, other than probably what his wife tells him. Um, and then, you know, then you can, then you go like this, stop people from going to war. You have to also put, you can't sit down and talk it out. Do a, why can't Putin do a podcast with the head guy? Like you just solved the middle East on a podcast. Why can't they solve what they're doing on a podcast? See, make this some, is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this make is some my, hard noise. This is <laughs> just my it's not your thing. It's what you, my, you, you it is my, it thing. isn't your this thing. Is not it your isn't. Thing. You're like that Plain guy that has a fantasy football team no, and thinks no, he's no, a fucking no, GM. No, no, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Like, why am I fucking listening to you? Like, like you've done something. What have you done in Washington? Nothing. What have, what, what has Washington done? You know? Um, you know, I think that like the, the woke left is embracing this, uh, because of course he's, you know, torching, uh, Bill Maher, who happens to be Jewish, who happens to be pro Israel. Um, I, I would say that most of what Bill Burr is saying here is, is true. Uh, you know, these are people who are, you know, these situations are complex. I don't think Bill Burr actually thinks that you could solve all war with a podcast, but I think he was just trolling Bill Maher there. I don't know. Let me think, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.